Hey y'all, Deepro here from the Monday.com team. Today I'm going to teach you about WorkDoc apps. We'll cover what they are, what value they bring to users, and how to build one. So let's get started. A WorkDoc app is an extension that runs inside a Monday WorkDoc. They expand the functionality of Monday.com so users can customize how they work and get the most out of their software. As a developer, you can build custom apps on top of the WorkDoc's infrastructure and share them on the Monday Apps Marketplace. Okay. But what is a Monday work doc? Work docs are collaborative documents inside of the Monday work OS. Folks use work docs in a few different ways. Individuals and teams use work docs to organize their thoughts in a written way. Some folks use work docs as a shared source of truth. This could be notes from a brainstorming session, a project plan for the team, or a knowledge base for new joiners. And sometimes the work doc itself is the deliverable. For example, an R&D team may need a technical specification for a new product, salespeople may need to deliver contracts and other orders for their customers, and finance teams may need to build invoices. Next, we're going to talk about what apps can do inside WorkDocs. As a developer, you can build doc actions, which are exactly what they sound like. They're actions that users can do on their docs. Let's learn through some examples. First, you can build apps that automate repetitive tasks during writing. For example, this app shortens a highlighted paragraph using AI. You can also use this pattern to check grammar, rewrite text using AI, enforce a style guide, perform string manipulation, count words, that kind of thing. Apps can also create content dynamically based on data from outside the work doc. This app takes data from connected boards and turns it into a weekly summary for the team. You can extend this concept to other use cases, such as writing a project plan from tasks on a board, syncing documents between two workspaces, pulling data from third-party software, and more. Finally, you can use apps for content management and creation. This app creates a contract based on boilerplate that is defined by a user. You can also extend this concept from contracts to other sales documents. You can create technical specs, invoices, and so on. Other apps in this realm could include managing internal knowledge bases, creating emails or slide decks from a specific work doc, exporting to PDF, that sort of thing. Now, of course, these are not the only kinds of apps that users find useful in work docs. We're just sharing some ideas to give you a sense of what's possible. End of the day, the sky is really the limit, and I'm really excited to see what all of you come up with and what amazing apps you build. Work doc actions can be invoked from two places from the add block menu or the contextual toolbar when user highlights some text. When a user invokes your app, they'll see a small modal. This is an iframe that your app is running in. In the iframe, your app can show some UI to the user and then perform actions on the doc on their behalf. We also have a JavaScript SDK to make your life easy. It contains methods to add and update blocks in a document, so you don't have to use our GraphQL API. And you can also use it to get the app's context. This is a JSON that includes a bunch of information about the app, including where and how it was invoked. And here are some other things to keep in mind as you're building your WorkDoc app. First, keep your app simple. Users may find it easier to understand multiple simple functions that are packaged as separate actions rather than one giant app that does a ton of stuff but requires a lot of configuration. Number two, flexibility. Don't force the user to use your doc in a specific way. Monday is all about flexibility, and the more flexible your app is, the more workflows it'll fit. Now for some technical advice. For those of you using React, we have a component library that you can use to build wonderful UI in the style of Monday with very little work. It contains all the UI elements you need, such as dropdowns, buttons, attention boxes, and more. If you're building an app for the marketplace, read through the app guidelines and build your app with them in mind. This way, you avoid going back to the drawing board because you forgot to implement a specific security measure. We'll put the review guidelines in the description of this video. And if you have any questions about anything in this video, don't hesitate to reach out to us in our developer community.